Okay, I'm going to throw a question out at you guys that you don't know that's coming, but I'm a big believer in educating yourself, continuing education, and both of you are making a living off the sport or in the process of trying to make a better living off of the sport, but yet looking back into your education, you're a computer programmer and you're coming from the banking industry. How important do you think having that education outside of the bodybuilding fitness industry is and how important of a role has it played in your career moving forward with the business you have and the business that you also have but you're getting ready to expand okay i'll go first then andrew actually we were just talking about this yesterday <clears throat> my i used to work as a project manager uh, for jp morgan chase and the experience that i got there was extremely valuable with what i do now and you're probably wondering uh, it makes no sense at all. How does working at a bank help you do what you do now? Um, if you think about working with a lot of clients, you have to manage a lot of data, right? You've got X amount of clients. They're sending you X number of uh, status updates every week. You have to, and if you're not getting the status updates and data, uh, from your clients, then you're doing them a disservice because you need, really need to monitor those things in order to make intel, intelligent adjustments. So when I was working at the bank, I had to manage a lot of uh, a lot of data, um, in that you had to become efficient. Okay, you have to become very efficient because you have so much work to do, and if you have a tremendous workload as a coach, you have to manage all these all this data. Now. Sometimes you don't have at, at the bank. Sometimes I didn't have all the data I needed to make a decision, so I just had to go with kind of you know based on what I know. Here's my best guess on where I think we need to go now. It's the same thing with a client. You know, you've asked them everything, but guess what? People are unique. They're different. This isn't black and white. It's gray. So I may not have all the data I need to make this a clear cut decision, but I've got to go with my gut. And I think I'm going to do this based on what I do know. And this is where experience comes into play. The longer you do this, the more situations you encounter. You just get better at it. Um, the other thing is, as I managed, um, as a project manager, you work with different teams. You know, I had certain technology teams, training teams. You have to have, uh, in order to do well, you have to have social skills. <laughs> okay? Uh, as funny as that sounds, you have to have social skills. And when you work with clients, and clients are coming to you uh, many times um, because, you know, it's funny. Some people just tell me what to do and I'll do it. But some people, you know, you got to work with them. You got to understand how they how they respond. You can't treat all clients the same. Um, they just respond different. They're motivated differently. And this is where working uh, in the corporate environment, you know, it's the same deal. I can't treat everybody the same. You always want to be fair to everybody and you always want to give everybody equal attention. But what motivates person A may not be what motivates person B. I'm personally motivated by somebody being extremely hard on me. I mean, the harder they are on me, the more I respect them. And, you know, but not a lot, of, you know, some people aren't like that though. Some people, you know, they can't quite handle that. So that's how the corporate world really, really helped me. Okay, well, my, my story is a little different. Um, my previous career was, um, I was a computer programmer. And for me, that really didn't help me at all in, in what I'm doing now. And what I do now, uh, well, the discipline that I learned from bodybuilding and having to get your meals in, having to train hard and really be disciplined and, and be willing to sacrifice certain things to progress. Um, that's where I've learned my work ethic and my, my, my skill. Um, and then on top, on top of that, I've learned so much from John and what he's taught me that, um, and I'm still learning. So, so to answer the question about how my previous career has helped me now, not really that much, but um, it, it's basically the discipline and, and the hard work ethic that's required to do bodybuilding that's allowed me to put that into this.